In this video, we're going to learn how to find the most frequently occurring value in an array using C. The first thing we'll do is declare and initialize a test array. So we'll have here int array is equal to, and we'll have the values 4, 2, 7, 4, 7, 5, 7, 4, 7, 6. So in this array here, the most frequently occurring value is the value seven, because the value seven occurs four times, and that's more than any other value in the array. This array contains 10 elements total. So what we'll do is declare an int variable called length, and we'll assign 10 to this variable. There are different ways to solve this problem. In this video, we'll go over a relatively simpler approach. So the first thing we'll do is count the occurrences of a value in this array. So what we could do is have a loop with a counter variable j that's going to go from zero up until, but not including length, by one. So in this loop, the counter variable j is going to go from zero by one up until, but not including length. So j is going to go from zero to one to two all the way up to index nine here. So that means we can use this loop to look at each element in the array using our counter variable j. And what we'll do is compare the element at that index to a value to count the occurrences of that value. So we'll declare a variable of type int called occurrences to keep track of the occurrences of a value. And we'll initialize it to zero because initially we haven't found any occurrences of the value yet. Then in the loop body, we'll have here, if the array at the index j is equal to a value, then we'll increment occurrences. So for now, we'll say the value we're looking for is seven. And what we'll do is increment occurrences whenever the value in the array at the index j is equal to seven. And then down here, we could output occurrences. So we could have printf and then occurrences colon and then percent %d to output an int value and then backslash n to output a new line and then we'll output occurrences. So we'll save compile and run the program and we get there are four occurrences of the value seven. So this is correct. And we have the first part of our algorithm here because now we can count the occurrences of a value in the array. We want our algorithm to find the most frequently occurring value in the array. What we'll do is have an outer loop and an inner loop. This loop here is going to become the inner loop of our algorithm. We'll have an outer loop with another counter variable i, and i, like j, is going to go from zero by one up until but not including the length of the array. So i will also be used to go through each element in the array. And what we'll do is use this inner loop to count the occurrences of that value at the index i. So up here, we'll have four, int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, and i plus plus. And this is going to be our outer loop. So we'll indent this inner loop here. And what we'll do is run this inner loop for each iteration of this outer loop. And what we'll do is check for how many occurrences of the value at the index i have occurred. Now, what we need to do is reset occurrences to zero each time this loop body runs because we want to count the occurrences of each value in the array at the index i. So here we'll have occurrences is equal to zero to reset occurrences each time we count a value in the array at the index i. We could now output the occurrences of each value in the array. So in this outer loop body here, after counting the occurrences of the value at the index i using this inner loop, we'll output the value at the index i, as well as the number of occurrences. So we'll have here printf and array, open bracket, and then percent %d to output the index of this value. 
we'll have is equal to percent %d, the value at that index, and then we'll have the occurrences with dash, and then percent %d to output the occurrences. We'll have backslash n to output a new line, and then we'll output i, the value in the array at the index i, and the occurrences of that value with occurrences here. Then we'll save, compile, and run our program. And we can see here the occurrences of each value in the array. So we can see six at the index nine occurs one time, and seven at the indexes eight, six, four, and two occurs four times. So now we can successfully count the occurrences of each value in the array. So for the last part of our algorithm, we'll have the outer loop keep track of the most frequently occurring value found so far. So we'll need two new variables. Up here, we'll have int, and we'll have max occurrences to keep track of the number of occurrences of the most frequently occurring value found so far. We'll also declare an int variable called max value to keep track of the most frequent value itself. Then down here in the outer loop, after counting the occurrences of the value at the index i, we'll see if that number of occurrences is greater than the number of occurrences of the most frequently occurring value found so far as given by max occurrences. So here we'll have if occurrences is greater than max occurrences. We found a value in the array that occurs more frequently than the previous most frequently occurring value. And what we'll do is update max occurrences and update max value. So max occurrences is now going to be set to occurrences. The number of occurrences of this new most frequently occurring value and we'll set max value equal to the value itself, the value in the array at the index i. Now, notably, we set max occurrences to zero to begin with, and any value in the array, including the first element in the array, is going to occur more than zero times, because for the value to occur, it has to occur at least once. So the first time this outer loop body runs, and i is zero, no matter what value is stored in the array at the index zero, it's going to be the most frequently occurring value found in the array so far, because that number of occurrences is going to be greater than max occurrences, which is zero. Then from there, as this loop goes through each element in the array, it's going to depend on whether or not the occurrences of that value are greater than the max occurrences the number of occurrences of the most frequently occurring value found so far. So when this outer loop is done, max occurrences is going to be set to the number of occurrences of the most frequently occurring value in the array. And max value is going to be set to the most frequently occurring value in the array. We could output those values. So down here, let's output those values. We'll have printf and we'll output max occurrences, colon, and percent %d to output max occurrences, followed by backslash n for a new line, and we'll output max occurrences, and we'll also output max value with printf and max value colon, percent %d to output max value, backslash n for a new line, and then max value to output max value. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we'll get that the most frequently occurring value in the array is seven, which occurs four times, and both of these are correct. Now this is a relatively simpler solution to this problem, but there are more efficient solutions that I might cover in future videos. So this is how we can find the most frequently occurring value in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.